for epsilon for epsilon term a transport equation is equation is solved rather than individually modeling each correlation term correlation term in new do ui prime by do xj do ui prime by do xj so now that means we need a transport equation for it we have not discussed that in the theory so far for turbulence kinetic energy there was a transport equation fair enough right so but for this particular uh, term do we have a transport equation i did not discuss actually it exists so i have not formed that part because it's very uh, you know it will we will deviate little bit away from the modeling chapter but if you are interested you can go and look at there is uh, an article which looks into this this is uh, mansoor kim and moin uh, journal of fluid mechanics 1988 this is by far the only paper where i have seen uh, uh, a derivation of this exact equation for dissipation rate exists so epsilon exact equation starting from first principles that is navier stokes it is considered and this is how your equation looks like so on the left hand side you have the standard material derivative for epsilon and there are four production rate terms for this okay and then of course you have the other usual suspects that is your turbulence transport t epsilon you have this pressure times transport or pressure diffusion rate pi epsilon that's what they call it and d epsilon is the viscous diffusion rate so they have a different name for this right so we have this turbulent transport or turbulent diffusion this pressure diffusion viscous diffusion those three were there anyway in turbulence kinetic energy equation also and there is a dissipation rate term for the dissipation rate of turbulence kinetic energy so this capital y he, here is of course uh, a sink term for dissipation rate so the way you should read this as uh, a destruction rate of dissipation rate of turbulence kinetic energy okay so that term is there but there are four production rates and you can see there these are extremely complicated uh, uh, terms so it has far too many unknowns so only if you have patience you can do a direct numerical simulation and you can actually look into the budget of this fair enough to understand the physics but to model this is actually complicated so we don't go and model the exact equation so what we do in two equation eddy viscosity models is we construct epsilon model equation analogous to the k model equation okay that is the idea so we don't uh, go and model the exact equation okay so the take away is exact it has far too many unknowns therefore epsilon exact equation is not used to model epsilon we will simply proceed uh, in the direction of the way k model equation was constructed okay so for that let's go back to our slide here so we can argue here that analogous to uh, the k model equation so what is k model equation so so an epsilon model model equation is constructed analogous k model equation this is purely numerical argument numerical argument for our own convenience so what is k model equation k model equation let me write so if i have the 
k model right so if i write the k model equation i get do k by do t plus u j bar do k by do x j equal to the model component of the transport term or the diffusion rate which was mu plus nu t by sigma k do k by do x j omitting the pressure transport term turbulent and viscous effects are considered here plus i have the production rate term which is 2 nu t sij minus 2 third k delta ij and your mean strain rate minus epsilon okay epsilon all this this is of course the entirely it's a modeled equation here not the exact equation so this epsilon is required now epsilon model okay or simply epsilon so how do i construct that is as i said analogous to the k model so i'm going to construct a model here for the epsilon term so a model equation looks like do epsilon by do t plus i would like to have the advection rate here So, on the left hand side, it is straightforward to write a model equation. Okay. Unsteady rate of epsilon, advection rate of epsilon. Now, what do I do for the production, uh, sorry, the diffusion rate? Again, I will fall back on the same thing. There has to be viscous effects close to the wall. And then turbulence has to dominate away from the wall. Okay. Use same modeling idea. Same gradient diffusion hypothesis also for epsilon. So I am going to say nu plus nu t. So nu t is coming everywhere. The eddy viscosity is present in your Rance equation, it is coming in your k equation, it is coming in your epsilon equation. So this is probably the first thing that you have to compute when you write a code because it is having influence everywhere. And it is of course coupled to k and epsilon. But here it is not the sigma k, this epsilon equation. So we would need a model constant sigma epsilon. Okay. Sigma epsilon dou epsilon by dou xj plus. Okay, so so far so good, straightforward. Now, as I said, this is your diffusion rate right diffusion rate this is the production and this is the dissipation rate all the three terms dissipation rate is taken care of for epsilon so now production rate for uh, epsilon what should we do what do you think about it? So, this is your pk production rate, we call it pk model. I am going to drop the model thing uh, uh, in uh, writing this model model everywhere. So, basically, you can say this is the pk term production rate pk. So, what should a p epsilon should depend on? Right? What I need now is p epsilon. So, when you construct any model, uh, obviously, as I said, you need, you need to put some arguments. One argument I can make is that uh, I do not want excessive generation of turbulence. See, the dissipation rate, what is the objective of dissipation rate? It is a sinker. So, this is going to, it, it is telling you the rate at which turbulence kinetic energy is taken away or dissipated or destructed in the system. So, if I have excess turbulence kinetic energy generation, the pk term, right generation rate of k is pk then i would like to have production rate of epsilon depend on the production rate of turbulence kinetic energy itself so you have excess generation of turbulence there will be excess generation of epsilon also so that there is some kind of a 
balance. So we want some kind of an equilibrium. We are assuming this need not be the case in turbulent flows. You can get a flow where there is far more turbulence generation, but epsilon is not dissipating enough. It can exist. But for the modeling sake, we want pk and epsilon to be balancing or interdependence. So for that sake, I want p epsilon to be a function of pk. So okay, I can introduce pk here. So what? Does it solve my problem? So what is the unit for this? This is meter square per second to the power of 4. Epsilon is meter square per second cube. This is a time rate of change of epsilon. Dimensions are meter square per second to the power of 4. Right? So every dimension has to be the same here. You can go ahead and check. It will be dimensionally consi consistent every term here. Therefore, the production and production rate of uh, epsilon and dissipation rate of epsilon must also have the same dimension. But pk will give you the same dimension as what is the dimension of pk? Its dimensions are same as epsilon, right? Epsilon is meter square per second cube. pk will also have meter square per second cube. So you need a time scale that is missing, right? So I need a time scale here. What is missing for me is a turbulent time scale. Okay. Obviously, a model constant will also appear when I do this. Let's call it c epsilon one. A model constant has appeared, and a time scale is required here for dimensional consistency. So then, if I do this, then of course this becomes meter square per second to the power of four. Okay, we'll figure it out what that time scale is, and then now I need a sink term minus of this has to be dissipation rate of dissipation rate of turbulence kinetic energy okay again what should this depend on if epsilon is produced more i want a, a term which is depending on epsilon itself to remove right so again the same argument so i would like to have epsilon here as a term for the destruction rate of epsilon right so this is the dissipation rate so note it here this is uh, dissipation rate of rate of epsilon this is the production rate of rate of epsilon so symbolically i can call this p epsilon uh, there is no particular symbol for this, but if you want, we can just write epsilon epsilon. Even though I have not seen uh, people using this, uh, we can just use it, no problem. Okay, so these two terms. Again, dimensionally, it has to be correct. So now epsilon, the unit is meter square per second cube, same as pk. Again, the time scale, I need a time scale. I would need a model constant also, c epsilon 2. Okay. So more uh, unknowns have come here so far. In the k equation, what is sigma k? Okay, that is an unknown. And then I have in the epsilon model equation, sigma epsilon c epsilon one c epsilon two. But I need a turbulent time scale. Did we use a turbulent time scale so far in the context of two equation uh, turbulence kinetic energy dissipation rate model? K by epsilon, right? So we already used the turbulent time scale. So tau is your turbulent time scale that we used as K by epsilon. And we are anyway constructing a k epsilon model. So why use some other time scale for modeling part? Okay, you can go ahead and do it. Right, the time scale can also be a flow time scale, which was du bar by dy would give you according to Prandtl's mixing length model. That is another time scale. But here we are using a turbulent time scale k by epsilon. 
right a ratio of that actually so you have to be very careful here when you initialize the data when you are writing codes right this k by epsilon so don't start with something like epsilon 0 your code will blob you are looking at a ratio of this and this ratio is very complicated in certain uh, places see on the wall epsilon goes to maximum no problem but away from the wall when you go to uh, we are constructing a turbulent boundary layer let's say and then you are going to free stream okay your numerical domain will go up to free free stream what is epsilon there how do i give this value don't set zero set some very small so uh, those who have taken cfd courses and have learned this would know that never define anything like zero always define something like small and large values small can be like 10 raise to minus 10 small great can be or large value can be 10 raise to 10 10 or 20 or something so use instead of zero use something like that an extremely small value so anyway k by epsilon is our time scale so if i introduce that i would get what would happen here if i remove this i get essentially epsilon by k correct c epsilon 1 epsilon by k okay so epsilon has come inside the production rate also of what dissipation rate of turbulence kinetic energy so the p epsilon is the production rate of epsilon which is depending on epsilon itself and also on the pk okay similarly the time scale here so this becomes epsilon square over k so this completes your uh, the model equation for both k and epsilon of course there are uh, many constants that are there here and i can give out the value not a problem uh, but we will discuss what these values will be so you will see that there are different variations of k epsilon models there are names like standard k epsilon rng k epsilon realizable k epsilon there are many <coughs> if you search you will get many turbulence mo k epsilon models and then the value of these constants slightly vary so in the context of standard k epsilon model i will go ahead and derive and tell you what these values will be okay i will not go ahead into every k epsilon model because we need to move on to other types of models right okay so any questions on this i can take it up